At age 50, Michael Ryan has a demanding job as a banquet waiter, and he hits the gym three or four times a week. So it may surprise you that Michael's kidneys stopped working five years ago. A machine has taken over the critical job of filtering his blood. At night, three times a week, I come to dialysis and I have my blood cleaned. Dialysis becomes necessary for a patient when he does not make adequate urine output or is unable to clear the body of its waste products. Dialysis itself is a process of using an artificial kidney to help filter out some of the waste products that the kidneys would otherwise be able to filter out on their own. It is our best current therapy in all of medicine, I believe, for replacement of organ function. People with kidney failure cannot survive without regular dialysis unless they receive a new kidney. For the very, very best long-term outcomes for persons with kidney failure, a kidney transplant is, is usually preferred. 75% of patients who have a kidney transplant live at least five years compared to 35% of those on dialysis. Unfortunately, there is a catch. I've been on the list now five years, and I'm now I'm on the ready list. I've passed all the pre-tests, checking your heart and your body and making sure you're healthy for surgery. So it could be tomorrow, or it could be in a year or so. For most persons who have kidney failure who are waiting for a deceased donor kidney, the waiting times are long and they continue to lengthen. There is a way around the waiting list. Because people only need one kidney, sometimes a living relative or friend can become the donor. We tell people who are waiting to be transplanted to really consider the option of uh, having a living donor. A lot of people don't even think about the fact that they could have a family member who would be willing or a, a good match for them. When a living donor is not an option, patients have no choice but to wait. And that means making dialysis a way of life for the long term. Some people think when they find out that their kidneys have failed and they're on dialysis, it's a death sentence and they don't realize, no, you can still live an active, productive life. But they need to hear those stories and see the examples of people who are living with this disease and living well with this disease. It's very motivating to hear or to see a patient who says, I was just like you. I've been on dialysis for 20 years. But in those 20 years, I've gotten married, I've gotten my PhD, I have grandchildren. I've traveled the world. I'm like the kid that walks around the sandbox with a, maybe a broken shovel and a bucket, but I know that I can make the sandcastles just as good and as great as the other people who are there.